Hello guys, uh, in this tutorial I am going to tell you how to root and install a custom recovery on the LA Eco LA2 super phone. First of all, all the files required in this tutorial are uploaded by me on Google Drive and the link is given below in the description. Ok, now we are going to start. First go to settings, then scroll to about phone, just tap on the build number for until you see a um, toast you are now a developer now you would be able to see developer options here open them make sure that the OEM unlocking is switched on select USB debugger also click OK now you are ready to connect your phone with USB now you have to connect the USB select MTP USB debugging should be enabled now rest has to be done from the computer now the device is connected to my computer I have provided the link to drivers in the description of the video if you have installed all of the drivers correctly then these commands should work without any errors now let's move this is the folder i have given in the on the google drive you can extract it anywhere you feel like open the folder hold the shift key and right click mouse button then you would see a option open command window here so use that now the cmd window is open type the command adb devices the ADB server starts and see this is a, an unauthorized device connected to your computer how to authorize it unlock your mobile phone you would see a prompt here this computer RSA key is as follows blah 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 allow USB debugging check this option and click on ok Now enter the same command adb devices Now the device is coming as device it means it is authorized Now enter the command adb reboot boot loader Now you would see something like this written in Chinese or maybe English on your device this is the fast boot mode now execute the next command fast boot oem unlock now you would get the result failed need to wipe user data do fast boot oem unlock go so you have to do the same fast boot oem unlock hyphen go hit enter it would you would see the result ok finished now type the next command fast boot flash recovery recovery dot img here also you get the same result ok finished now next command fast boot format user data hit enter same result finished okay now what you have to do next is unplug the data cable now hold the power button and volume up button Keep hold both the buttons until you see this message message Eco recovery now the recovery is open you can see it's written something in Chinese just slide it to the right select this option then go to this tab then select English from here and this now see the recovery is now in English language what you next you have to do is go to mount 
see that these two must be checked mtp must be enabled means here it is coming disable mtp means that is save the mtp is already enabled and make sure that this this option is unchecked click on back now again you have to attach the usb cable now you would see the device as lex520 close this please ignore the name i know many of you may have different names as per their region it's lex526 in india now you just simply copy this beta super su.zip copy go to lex520 open this drive right click and just paste it's copied now you must unplug your device here i have unplugged my device now swipe to unlock click on install here comes your beta super su zip select it just uncheck out everything and just slide it to right see you can see the result it's done and it is done that first reboot may take a few minutes it can also loop few times do not interrupt the process so we have to follow the same click on reboot system a device would reboot it may reboot more than one or two times but generally it reboots only once we have to wait the first reboot takes very long time So now the device has booted. As you may have noticed, you might find your font a bit bigger or to be more precise, the DPI of the phone has increased due to root. I am just skipping all these processes. You can do them better. Continue. Now, it is a bug or maybe a safeguard from La Eco that whenever anyone tries to root or unlock the boot order of the device, it increases the pixel density of the phone. In settings also, you, yeah, you might see the option to decrease the density. But when you click on standard and apply, the phone would reboot and you won't be, and you will realize that the pixel density is still the same so what's the solution for that i'm going to tell you go back go to your home screen connect to internet okay open your play store sign in using your google id and then follow the step follow the steps i'm going to tell you So I have successfully uh, logged into my Google account. Type here in the search box DPI search. Choose this one easier DPI changer root by Corneoman Studio. Open this. Install. Continue. by the time it's installing open the super su app for the first time so it starts working no thanks just minimize it go back to play store see the app has been installed open enter the value here in dpi changer 420 enter 
first time the app may take some time to ask for super user request as it comes click on grant for confirmation change dpi to 420 click on ok in some cases it does not work the first time you have to close close the app slide it up and then once more do the same process then definitely the dpi would be changed but still you will find that it's not changed everywhere like this status notification the quick access bar how to change that also go to settings display scale view select standard now and click ok this would ask to reboot your mobile mobile phone click on switch the reboot might take uh, more than a normal time you would you should wait for that see now the device has booted and as you may have noticed the dpi has gone to its original perfect level see it's all perfect thanks for watching the tutorial don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel